A microscope creates an image of a sample in the sample plane in the image plane. What if we want to image more than one image plane at the same time though? As shown in a previous video, this is possible with multifocus optics. For instance, a cascade of beam splitters creates multiple copies of an image with different path lengths that result in different focal planes. In this video, we will look at a different way to achieve multifocus imaging, multifocus gratings. In a multifocus grating, each diffraction order corresponds to a different image plane. But there are three obstacles to overcome. First, the intensity between the diffraction orders is vastly different. Second, a simple grating would not give us different focal planes, so we need to add some sort of defocus mechanism. And third, a grating is very wavelength sensitive, so we need to make sure to counter chromatic aberrations properly. Let's start with number one and try to optimize the intensity balance. For that, we can modify the unit cell of the grating. A simple approach is to chop the unit cell up into many pixels and initialize them at random. We can now simulate the diffraction effect of the grating with this unit cell. It is now a simple matter of flipping one pixel at a time and checking if the result is better or worse until we reach an even distribution of light. Let's tile our grating with this unit cell. What do we need to get a defocus effect? As you can see, that means we have a different angle of the marginal ray that makes up this new image plane. So what we need to do is make the grating finer at the top and the opposite at the bottom. With a grating warped in this manner, it turns out that each diffraction order is evenly spaced axially without any additional warping. Nice. Let's tackle the last obstacle, chromatic aberrations. Simply replace your large tube lens with many small tube lenses and add a blaze grating to exactly counter the chromatic effect of the defocus grating. Wonderful. But how do we get these gratings? One way is to use them yourself using direct laser writing. This approach does not require a clean room and is actually quite quick to do. In our paper, we provide some software to calculate the parameters of a defocus grating that you can adjust to fit your specific system. Numerical aperture, magnification, wavelength, and so on. Then the lithography begins. It involves spin coating of photoresist, pre-baking to make the resist less slushy, exposure on a photolithography system, post-exposure to induce cross-linking, and finally the development of the resist. In case you don't have a commercial lithography system, here's the one we built. Quite simple. A laser is focused onto the photoresist covered glass plate, which is then moved by piezo stage stack along the lines that define our grating. For checking how the sample is doing, we also added an LED and a camera. And this is what we got out. Quite neat. To show you the performance of such gratings, we built a little test setup that shoots an expanded laser at a resolution target in the image plane and then relays the image over a multifocus grating and reflection configuration onto a camera. We designed our grating to have three focus planes, spaced a bit more than 300 micrometers apart. Interpolating between these image planes lets us smoothly scan the sample whichever way we want. All software, the optical setup, and all production protocols are available for free. Link to the paper in the description. Thanks for watching.